What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be hopping straight into the video because I don't want this video to be too long. So we're going to be mixing um, some of the L'Oreal High Color in the color Magenta and the color Red so that we can achieve this look. So as you can see, these are the products that we're gonna be using. So I'm using 30 and 40 developer because I want the hair to be at different levels and I want it to have some dimension. So the product called for a one to one and a half ratio. So basically what you see me doing here is mixing up one, um, one two to one and a half um, developer. And basically I use my scale to be able to get more accurate, a more accurate measurement. So I have magenta on my right side and then I have red on my left side. And you guys can see the difference between kind of how they look in the bowl. So you'll see um, how I'm placing, how I'll be weaving, as well as how I'll be um, just kind of positioning the colors in different places so that I can get not just one color, but a multi-dimensional look like to say that um, although I am using gloves further in the video you probably want to use gloves in this part because it took me a couple of days to get this color off of my hand and red does stain so just FYI put some gloves on <laughs> okay so what I'm showing you here is the red the magenta the magenta and the red Okay, so I'm starting on a freshly shampooed wig. This is a wig that I made on the sewing machine. And what I will naturally do if I'm doing a client's hair is I will part the hair into four sections. But because the wig is a little less um, density than um, a average person's head, I just parted it in three sections and this allows me to go ahead and maneuver and work how I want as well. Throughout the video, you'll see me starting and um, painting the hair in different ways. And what I did from the back is I started from the bottom and I worked my way up because I did use 40 developers. So I do know that the hair is going to lighten. And because I know that it's going to lighten, I want it to lighten, lift from the bottom to the top. And the bottom of the hair is the most porous portion of the hair. So um, that's why I started from the bottom on sort of certain portions of the video. And then on certain portions of the video, you'll see that I'll go straight from the top of the the weft all the way to the bottom. Okay, so once I actually get all of this hair color on there and I get it um, fully saturated, 
what I'm going to do is shampoo and condition the hair. Yes, I'm going to shampoo the hair because um, although this is not a bleach per se or a lightener, um, I did use developer which is peroxide so I am going to use a neutralizing shampoo basically to stop the process and to bring the natural pH back to the hair as well. Then I'm going to use a silicone mix because this is a really, really good conditioner for um, just bringing the um, just natural shine and luster to the hair so I just love this conditioner and so what I did was I allowed the color to sit on the hair for about an hour and then I rinsed the shampoo rinsed the color out and then I shampooed it and then I conditioned it and I left the conditioner on for about three hours and then I came back and then you'll see me proceed with the styling process um I'll be blow drying oh. So here's the final look of when I've completed the color process. As you can see, it almost kind of looks the same or it kind of looks pinkish, but you all will see the final results. I mean, you kind of see them in the beginning, so you'll see that the pink does not give off this red. So I want to zoom in so you all can actually see some of the dimension. I wanted to turn my ring, I should have turned my ring light up a little bit higher so that you can see it, but you can see the different color and the different dimension and it gave exactly what I was trying to give. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed to detangle the hair and then I'm going to proceed to um, blow dry the hair. While some people may be against blow drying your um, extensions, I actually love the look of the extensions. If you're going for a straight look, I love how it looks if you blow dry it. So I recommend blow drying the hair prior to um, flat ironing the hair. So now I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron the rest of the hair and I just wanted to show you all how the hair looks flat iron. Of course you'll see in the end that I did not actually end up wearing it straight because to me it wasn't as straight as I would have liked but um, you'll see how I style it in the end. As for products when I'm flat ironing the hair I try to use as least or as little products as possible because I still want the hair to have a lot of shine but I still want it to have a lot of body and movement so I don't use that many products so you'll see that I only use one product and that's this slick stick at the top of the hair and I will insert pictures and I will insert um, in the description bar uh, items every item that I use in this video
So now I'm just gonna use my Care Care wax stick to lay down any of the small, short, stubborn hair pieces at the top and to give it a more sleek appearance at the top. And then I'm just gonna go over it with my flat iron. I mean with my um, hot comb. all right you guys so here is the final result thank you all so much for watching i love this little effect i've done with the blow dryer thank you all so much for watching i'll catch y'all in my next video bye